Hello and um, welcome to this video tutorial. So you're going to need some watercolour paints, some coloured pencils, um, paint brushes, um, a spray and a lovely house plant to draw. Um, and I started off with some thickish paper. You can use canvas or board if you want. And the first thing that we're going to do is take a colour pencil and draw the house plant on your page or on your board. And to do this I tried to draw the leaves that were in front first and then draw the other ones behind and I started off the composition with the leaf on the bottom right hand corner just to make sure that that would fit in the page um, for the finished picture. So I just continued on. Okay, and once you've done that, you need to get some white emulsion paint or some acrylic paint, but basically the thicker and the older the paint the better. A paintbrush, um, some water in case you need to wash your brush, and a bit of old rag or cloth just to wipe your brush off on. And I started off by filling in the leaves and trying to keep the paint quite thick. Um, don't worry if you go over the edge too much, um, it's just to get the rough shape of the leaves. I'm using our drawing as a guide. And this is what's going to create the relief in our painting. So once it's dry, then you can take your spray, try and get one that's got a fine mist setting, and spray the whole paper so it's slightly damp, and then get some very watered down watercolour paint. I've gone for blue here, and just splat it on. then once you've got some paint on there you can start tilting the painting to draw the paint all around your drawing and your relief painting and then you can add different colours at this stage if you want um, and the aim is really to make the paint bleed all over the page and into other areas so I've added more water so add the spray as you need to and we want it to go around and over our emulsion painting so it brings out the underpainting of the plant. It's really helpful to do this on newspaper and to have a piece of newspaper off to the side so if you want to drip quite a lot off one side you don't then have to lay your page back down on wet paint. So I'm adding some purple here. So you could wait for the page to dry at this stage and then add a different colour or you can uh, blend the colours together while the paint's still wet. It's totally up to you to explore and experiment. I wanted to have a kind of darker area at the bottom of my page so I kind of tilted the paint that way and then with my spray kind of sprayed the top lines so they all softened. So at this point the page and the painting had dried slightly but not completely dry. It's really fun just to explore different ways of adding paint so you can splat it on toothbrushes. An old toothbrush is quite a good way to get some fine drips on there. Here's the stage where I left it to dry and this is where it has dried and while it was slightly damp I kind of flattened it under some books so the page wasn't too warped. And these are different things you can do afterwards, so add more drawing with coloured pencil um, and you can also add more colour, so have fun experimenting. <laughs> 